And hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am excited to do this pour because I'm using, well, the more of a heavy body paint, not the real heaviest body paints there are out there because, uh, but you know, they are average. So what I've been doing is I'm mixing one part Floetrol, one part Gool, and one part paint. And a lot of my paints have not even needed water. Um, this one needed probably just <laughs> maybe about a little, a third of a teaspoon. So I'm using the light blue permanent. This one needed probably about, yeah, about a teaspoon, lake blue. And then this one here needed, I was really surprised, probably about a teaspoon and a half of water. And that's it. My white didn't need anything, the flow. No water, okay? There's no silicone in here, and we'll see what happens with four flip cups. Um, Cause yeah, I was gonna do like a ring pour, and I'm like, oh, I did a ribbon pour yesterday, so we'll just see how the heavy body handles with, cause we got that lace in the other day from the flip cup, so I'm excited to do this. There's um, one thing that I do know is that when you use a lot of water, it will break down the binder in your paint. And you know, I've always been sometimes maybe 20% water because you don't want to go over 30 if you are using water. I've done it for a long time, nothing wrong with it. But uh, the best way is because then you, you see your paints, you know, what they can do together with that binder in there. And that's why I started using the glue all because I needed binder. And well, we'll just get started. I just thought I'd mention that, that I'm finding that is probably one of the big reasons here that I'm starting to see a big change. So for a 10 by 20, and that's what size I have here, you need about, uh, you know, 10 ounces. So that's what I got. I'm gonna take my sticks out of my cups, give them one last stir, check the consistency. And that's another thing, so trying to get all your paint colors at the same exact consistency, same flow. Mine is sort of like warm honey, warm pancake syrup. So, kind of just like, well, plop in and then kind of pop up and then it leaves just a little trail and disappears. Okay, so here we go. All right, those are pretty together. I love that lake. Was it that lake blue? Yeah, so pretty. I can't wait to see this. So yeah, I was just kind of wanted to let them sit longer, but well, I'm not patient. Yeah, binder's real important. I don't know where my head's been. It keeps your cells formed, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna let that set for a little bit. Well, let's see how this can turn out. All right, here we 
go. I always get my corners. You know how it's got that little crease? I have a good feeling about this one's going to be pretty. I have not run across anything that hasn't yet. See if we get specs. No, not a lot at all. Like normally, if I use just my white Artisol flow, I would get like specs galore, just blowing on it. I've been real happy about this change. It's brought back excitement and painting for me again. I love that lake blue there, so I'm going to start with that side first. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. But, you know, there's really no particular order, I don't think, to do these in. You can do it this way if you want. But it does un uh, uh, take them on a line. So it don't matter though. Sometimes you may not want them completely straight. This is beautiful. Where did I leave off last? This end. I usually center it too. Then I take a look. And that's so pretty. I kind of like that swirl in there. That gives it some character. I like this. The way it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you don't have to torch. That's not always necessary. Sounds will pop up on their own. This is gorgeous. So I'm just going to let that sit. And we'll come back to it and see how it looks. You don't want to tilt after it starts to sell up. But I noticed this is just all blank right down here. I didn't notice that. So I have to move that down a little. Just until it's gone. There. There. Let it drip down the side, and then I can bring it back. Let's see if it... You can kind of bring those cells back into place, maybe. There we go. Okay. Let's see if it's prettier now. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's much better. Okay, now I'll let it sit. Okay, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. I haven't done one like this for a long time. I remember doing some with that um, Magnanese and uh, oh, I think Melinda got some of them 
It reminds me of that, but this is beautiful. And I was turning it. I know it's not in complete view, but I love it this way. I swear it looks like waves in the ocean and stuff. This is so pretty right there. It totally does. Well, let's take a look. Look at that. That's so pretty. Look at no spotting. <laughs> Couple big ones there. So I'm so glad I tilted that off. So there we go. <laughs> so cool. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Have a good day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.